Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey guys, thank you for talking about Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Sierra Nevada. This is an experimental beer, an experimental IPA. This is their Five Hop. So it says right on the front here, Five Hop Experimental IPA, uh, Sierra Nevada. Uh, I don't think this is a big beer. Uh, it says alcohol is 5.8% by volume and this was packaged on January 27th of 2016 and this this was picked up in their uh, variety pack uh, that's on the shelves in the stores right now and this thing was done in January 27th February 27th March 27th April 27th and then we're into May already as far as I'm concerned they're selling these beers packaged up and they're over three months old sitting in the grocery stores that's like I tell you guys all the time, the beer distribution in Virginia sucks high and titty. And ain't no doubt about it. Uh, if this is uh, an IPA, which it is, an experimental IPA, it seemed like they would have that beer pulled off the shelf by now. In January, February, March, April. April 27th would have been three months. That's, to me, that's the shelf, shelf life for an IPA. Especially at 5.8 percenter, and this was just bought. So, and uh, you know where I'm going to go with this. Uh, drink your IPAs fresh, guys. Uh, I don't think it had it on the case anywhere. I may be mistaken. The wife picked it up, and I uh, said, so, "Oh, uh, this is something new. I haven't reviewed it." And I looked at the back of it. I said, oh, well, "I better review it pretty damn quick because it's already three months freaking old." So let's see what it brings to the table. If it's good, I'm going to tell you it's good. If it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's bad. So that's the way it is. I ain't pulling any punches. All right, just like I said, uh, don't have the IBUs listed here on uh, Rate Beer. And not listed on Beer Advocate either. And not on the bottle. So. Oh, 12. Oh, 12. Oh, 12. Food pairings is going to be your typical IPAs. The cuisine is, uh, is going to be curried and Thai, cheeses, pepper, Monterey pepper, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar, stronger cheeses. Meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I'm going to add grilled meat to that. Glass fried pint, pint, Becker, Nonic, Tumbler, Mug, Stein, Sidel. I got my favorite glass today, the Solomon Beer Glass, and not recommended for extended celery. But it's already been extended celery for three months in the freaking box. So, and it's a shame since uh, they're brewing this stuff down in, uh, in uh, Mills River, North Carolina, which is three hours away and it's taken me three over three months to get it. Distribution is horrible in Virginia. It's hard to tell how long this shit sits in the frickin' warehouse before they decide to send it somewhere. Oh well. It is what it is. Nice carbonation on this. Two fingers of head. Over to the light, a nice orange tangerine color, very good looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Five hops, I say. Well, it's definitely not a West Coast style. Not, not now, anyway. A uh, little bit of floral herbal hops. Maybe a hint of some lemon in there. A little bit of crackery malt. Not a big hop aroma, guys. It really is. A little bit of the earthy hop to me. Well, <coughs> let's give it a taste. Cheers.
Better than giving lemon in this. A little citrusy lemon. First time having this beer. Got a feeling it would have been a lot better at the end of January, 1st of February, than it is here uh, the first week of May. That's when I'm reviewing it. Today's the 3rd of May. Definitely not a malt bomb yet, but it's not an outstanding or world-class IPA in my opinion. Decent. Well, let me take it back and let her have a sip or two of uh, three and uh, sip on it for just a few minutes and we'll come back and give it just a final chug and great, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm sitting on it about, about 25 minutes or so and uh, decent beer. Not outstanding, not world class in my opinion. Uh, a decent, should I say, transitional at this stage, at this length in the bottle. But like I said, we just picked up the variety pack, uh, and this is what we got. Uh, a beer that's been in the box evidently for three months. So, let's do the, uh, the final chug on this one. Definitely has a nice lemony citrusy aroma to it and taste. To me, it's more like a like a European style IPA, uh, very subdued hops, kind of earthy, floral, hint of some citrus in nothing there. Like I said, definitely not a West Coast, and I don't know if I would consider it even an East Coast. does have the ABV on the package, it does have the bottle on date on the package, it's a Best Buy or an Enjoy Buy. And it's not their fault that it's old. It's, uh, it's Virginia. It's uh, the beer distribution. And that's what we have to go through. When the Stone Enjoy Buys come out, I'm the last one to get it. I mean, usually it's only, it's a 37 day shelf life on that particular beer. And usually by the time it gets here, there's only a week, week and a half left before that expires. That's how long it takes to go through the distribution and get to where it's got to go. And there are several different distributors that handle beers in, in, in the Roundup Valley. And some of them do stuff on a little more timely manner. And some of them don't give a rat's ass whether it sits in the warehouse and then gets to where it's got to go at all. So that's just part of it here in Virginia. It, it sucks. It really does. So, uh, And they don't care. They'd rather push. They're the same people that handle Budweiser and Miller and Coors and all that. And they, and they make more money on those beers because they, they, they push them. They have more shelf area. Uh, when you go into the grocery stores, uh, there's a big long area of all those macro garbage beers. And then there's a little small short area for the craft beers. And if they want to put your beer out, they'll put it out. And if they don't, they don't have to. And they won't. So that's how it is. Uh, it sucks. It really does. And unless you go to a craft beer store and buy your beers. And I, and I try to sometimes, but I don't always get to do that. Because uh, the barrel chest is on the other side of town. It's a 30-minute ride out there and 30-minute ride back. But I, I usually can and get a little bit fresher beers. Not always, but... A lot of times we can, so. Uh, but that all, if it comes from the same distributor, the grocery stores get it the same time that Martin and the guys at the barrel chest get it. And, you know, a lot of times it's the same age. You go in the grocery store, it's been sitting there, it's got a three-month package on date, and go out there and it, does, it has the same thing. So, uh, especially the Stone Enjoy Buy, stuff like that, that distributor is horrible. It is horrible. And like I said, there's like three or four different distributors that handle beers in the, in the Roanoke Valley. And uh, they all suck. I mean, uh, I don't know why it takes that long to get through the distribution area, especially a beer like this that's done in North Carolina. Uh, three hours away, and it takes three months to get it. <laughs> Something wrong with that damn picture, right? Guys, to me, uh, it's not an A beer. It's a uh, 
it's a bee beer, and I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because it's not their fault that it takes that long to go through the distribution area. I'm going to give it to 7, which is a B plus. Uh, I would definitely love to try this uh, when it's less than two months old, maybe a four to six weeks old, and see if it's any better or any more hot presence than it is right now. As of right now, a three-month-old, not impressed at all. Not impressed at all. And if it was in a six-pack, I would not purchase it unless it was fresher. So, but she picked it up for the variety pack, and, uh, and I seen it, and I hadn't reviewed it. I said, well, let me get one of those out, one of her, one of her beers, and I said, I'll go ahead and review that, and did not look at the date on it until I set it up on the table to review it, and I, I looked at it, three months. It's, that's enough about that. Uh, that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it to seven. If I was paying a numeric rating on this guy, it would probably be an 88. Over to uh, Beer Advocate, Beer Advocate says 89 in a very good range. And over to Rate Beer, Rate Beer says overall 93 and 90 in the style. I'm in between. I'm actually lower than, than both of these. Uh, they have 89, I, I would say 88. Uh, like I said, if it was a little fresher, uh, it might be a little better, but it is what it is, and I'm grading it for what it is. So, a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't grade a beer that's three months old. That's as soon as I can get it, so maybe they'll hear me. So, with that being said, if you've had the five hop, let me know what you think of it. Wasn't impressed, guys. Uh, above average, but for a beer that's been in the box for three months, I think the beer distribution in Virginia could, could do a lot better than what they're doing. And uh, like I said, they'd rather push the macros than, than the craft beers. They make more money doing that. They sell more of it. All those college kids out there on the budget buying uh, 24 of them for $15. So, well, that's enough about that. If you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. I and mean, we're going to dig something a lot better than this out tomorrow. Come on back. I'll see you then.